Hello everyone and welcome to IndieQuest. I'm going to be playing Ascend. It's by Rose Engine, which is a pretty cool name. Um, I believe this was just released on at least where the site I just checked out. It's a platformer game and it's pretty cool. Um, though there is, there is something I want to point out uh, like right now is that um, the little bounce sound that just like happens when you jump it just doesn't fit in with the game. I kind of wish they would have show something else, like maybe just a subtle like, or just like a kind of like a crunching sound. Well, anyway, anyways, this is kind of like a horror game uh, ish kind of thing, like very atmospheric, and I really wanted to record this as soon as possible. As soon as I started playing it, I'm spending more time on this than I should be <laughs> when I have like a uh, homework I should be doing. Uh, I like the graphics of it. It's grayscale from the start, but um, by going up to like those orange flowers like I did at the beginning, you can uh, get more life, like this. I like the mystery that it kind of like puts into the... throws the player into. You have no idea what this is, but you know that you want to explore this place. You want to say, wow, what is this? Uh, the controls uh, control pretty well to me. Uh, the jumping kind of annoys me a little bit. Oh, darn it. I wanted to take that. Um, should I go that way or that way? I don't know. Go this way. There are multiple routes that you can take. And um, you see that she's getting a lot colorful now. I've gotten her up to about like six uh, new pegs of life. Every time you get a flower, you get new, more life and also more colorful. I want to get up to like seven or eight. Don't know if it's possible, but I want to try. There we go. I consider some paths are easier than others. Like this one's a little bit easier than the other. But I think it's a little bit longer as well. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy's face. <laughs> Just smiling at you. Hmm, what's up? I can see up your dress. Whoa. There's multiple endings to this game, and um, you're probably going to see if I can actually successfully make it to the exit as this. You'll see one of them. I can uh, show you the other one, um, like through another playthrough. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm back up to six. Come on, seven. Let's see. I love the text that the, that it put it puts into here. It gives more of a mystery other than just throwing the player into this. Oh man, that was close. Okay, no, <laughs> no, why? <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna get up to seven. Oh well. But I am going to win this. Whoops. Yes! Yep, missed me. This is a very dangerous place for a little girl. You'll understand why she's here after once I make it to the end, though. Um, if I could suggest future improvements for the game, I'd say make it longer. Because really, this does. When I first played this, it reminded me of another game that I played. I um, can't remember what it was called, and I was—I actually did a review of it. I just—I haven't released it yet. Um, darn, I can't remember. No. <laughs> yeah, this game kind of rewards patience, so that, that explains why uh, it took me so long to beat this game the first time. Though it does kind of annoy me. I hate it when games like make you wait for things. I don't mind, like, uh, even waiting, even though it is kind of annoying, I can understand that because um, good things come to those who wait, so, you know, that kind of stuff. But even, um, there are some instances where just, like, you have no idea when to go because it's just so convoluted. It's like, okay, the pattern changed a little bit, but should I go? I can't tell. Because all it takes is just one, darn it. Yep, takes one, darn it. Huh. Where's the where's the elevator music when you need it? 
Maybe I should have tried the other path and shown you how ridiculous it was. It had these, but it was like crisscrossing back and forth. So if you fell, you would have um, basically just fell down to a lower level. And it probably had to start all the way back over from the beginning. Well, not the very beginning, but the beginning of that part. Well, here's that waiting aspect I was telling you about. Da, 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 da. Do, do, do. I can't see, is it? Uh, I'm gonna have to take a guess. No! Okay, well, looks like you're gonna get the bad ending. Actually, I can just kill myself. Your path ends here. You are the weakest thing. Goodbye. Da, 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 da. Um, darn, I can't I can't remember now. Oh yeah, another suggestion. It takes a little bit, a few seconds to start over, which is kind of uh, annoying if you're a person that really stinks at this game, like I did early on. So I'd suggest that he offer to kind of like speed that process up. Like if I press the go forward button like three times, that means, okay, this player does not care about the text. Nope. Yeah, getting through this game um, in this form is not that difficult because there's checkpoints everywhere, but you have to die to get to those. That's why it's tougher to get to the exit with some health. No! Oh. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> At least it's not as bad as the other one. Ooh, fire. Yeah, everything in here looks kind of menacing, though. Now that I look at it, the spikes are kind of just like triangles. Not sure why I didn't realize that before. But anyways, I guess that shouldn't take away from the good aspects that I feel the game has. A lot of games try to be at, uh, atmospheric, but kind of like fail at it. Just, I don't know. It's possible they went trying to go overboard with what they were capable of doing in graphics-wise. Darn it! The exit isn't that far away, either. Oop. Oh, there we go. Boop. Boop, boop. And there you are. Oop, come here. Da, 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 da. These platforms can be kind of jerks. They might like push you off. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Almost had a miniature heart attack. Man, hopefully this girl isn't prone to seasickness or she would be getting it just going up and down and up and down. And here I am. I made it to the very heavenly door. It was a dark and spooky night. I have no idea what that sounds like. I have the sound off for recording this. I thank you for playing from Rose Engine. That is a pretty cool name. Alex and Barbara. I don't know if they're a couple, but that'd be cool if they were. Well, I want to say thank you to the offers for making this game. Um, I'll do... I'll include the... Um, what is it? Uh, oh, the, uh, the alternate ending here at the end of this video. So I hope you'll check out the game for yourself and keep an eye on these um, uh, these game creators because people that make these kind of games um, I'm really big fans of and I'm sure they'll make even better stuff in the future. So um, um, you can look in the description below for a link to the game and thanks for watching everyone.